Hello sports fans and welcome back to another podcast and in today's podcast I'll be talking about the NBA's first games back in Orlando. Um, There was two games on, those games being the Utah Jazz and the New Orleans Pelicans and then at night you had the Los Angeles Clippers versus Los Angeles Lakers. So yeah, for each game I'll give you guys my uh, summary at halftime and the score and then after that uh, for each game I'll give you guys the post game report so yeah, hop right into it. So to quickly start off, uh, in both games, in the beginning with the National Anthem, both teams for each game took a knee along with all refs and team personnel to protest against the uh, police brutality and social injustice. So yeah, that's that. So with the first game, uh, you had the Utah Jazz and the New Orleans Pelicans, and here's the details on that. So the brief summary I have at halftime is the score was 60 to 48 pelicans at half as expected there has been some rust on both sides next i'll include brandon ingram went off for 15 points while shooting six for 11 and the big talk of the season zion williamson who was on a time restriction although it wasn't enforced he went on to score nine points in seven minutes at the half so to talk about the jazz the rust was mostly on their side up to half. Top players being Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell were all right. Gobert scoring four and Mitchell scoring only seven. The big talk at the half for the Utah Jazz is surprisingly Mike Conley and Jordan Clarkson as they're the team's top contributors. Conley scoring 16 and Clarkson scoring 10 at the half. So yeah, next I'll get into the post-game stats and the post-game report. So for the Utah Jazz, Jordan Clarkson led the team in stats, his stats being 23 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. And then on the Pelicans, you have Drew Holiday. He had 20 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 steals. And you had a final score of 106 to 104, Utah Jazz winning it. So here's a post-game summary. Going into the third quarter and toward the end of the third quarter, the game trends were about the same. That is, the Pelicans more dominant and the Jazz struggled to find themselves. Up until the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, the Jazz had woken up and actually led for the first time since 21-23 to in the first quarter, and that leading score being 98-95 in the fourth with two minutes remaining. The game stayed close with the score of 102-102, to and Mitchell in the last two minutes scoring the next eight points for the team to keep them in the game. Finally, Uh, Going on to surprisingly win through their struggles was the Utah Jazz with clutch free throws at the end by Rudy Gobert. So yeah, that'll be game one. And next I'll hop into game two of the night. So the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. The brief summary at halftime is as follows. Score being 54 to 52 Lakers. So to quickly say this game, as you already may know, both teams have star players and it actually brought in other players from the other teams. Some of those players being Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, and Shea Alexander. And they all got to watch in the stadium, obviously all six feet apart, but it was a different sight to see into the stadium. So next I'll get into the stats and play. So to add on, uh, this game, as you may expect was definitely running a lot more smooth compared to the last although i half the slight advantage goes to the lakers in terms of turnovers clippers having 12 versus the lakers 5 going into the half here is your players leading in scoring and other stats on the lakers you have anthony davis with 20 points four rebounds and one assist and on the clippers you have Kawhi leonard with 19 points two rebounds and one assist So next, I'll get into the post-game stats and the post-game report. So with the post-game stats, uh, both leaders stayed the same. In Clippers, Kawhi Leonard, he finished with 28 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. And Anthony Davis, he led the team with 34 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists. So next, here's the post-game summary. Uh, Toward the end of the third quarter, the Clippers definitely shaped up their offensive play from where it was in the first half and kept pace with the Lakers to make it a competitive game at the end of the quarter with a score of 77 to 76 Clippers. So in the fourth, this game from the start was very interesting. Whether each team started off slow or had its downs, that's just the game of basketball in my opinion. But overall, comparing to the first game, as I said, this one ran a lot more smooth and as you expect with the type of players on the court, 
toward the middle of the fourth quarter. The Lakers went on a 14-6 run with seven minutes remaining, making the score 91-82. Toward the end of the game, with just under four minutes to play, you had a score of 96-90 Lakers. So at the end of this, ended up being another close game with a score of 99 to 95 lakers with just two minutes remaining in the stretch you had paul george had a a clutch three making the score 99 to 98 with one minute remaining but of course you have uh lebron james right after that coming back down on the court with his own basket making the score being 101 to 98 Lakers with 45 seconds remaining. Clippers Paul George hits a clutch three with 40 seconds to tie the game 101 to 101. Then again, here comes LeBron James, rushes down the court and drives for a layup to take the lead at 103 to 101 with only 12 seconds remaining. At the end, Clippers get the ball and inbound it to Paul George from the outside, misses a fadeaway three, and Lakers pull off the win with a score of being 103 to 101. So after that, I'll get into my summary of day one with basketball back. So pretty much to sum it up uh, in one word, and that is wow, uh, with regular basketball being back finally. The two games on back go down to the wire. It doesn't get much better than that. Through the struggles and strength, these players on all teams brought the heat. And as of recording today, uh, this is going to be day two of games so yeah we'll see how day two goes um but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one here in about three days the next one will be about every nba uh best team in league history uh from fox sports and i'll be giving you guys my opinions on that and thoughts so catch you guys in the next one peace out